Now let's go over how to set up and add cryptocurrency to a mobile wallet. Mobile wallets are similar to desktop wallets, but allow you to manage your portfolio on your smartphone. An example of a mobile wallet would be the Coinbase mobile app we downloaded in the previous section. But if you wanted to set up a different mobile wallet, there are many others available to hold each type of cryptocurrency. Mobile wallets are great for beginners because they are easy to use and can be set up in minutes. The mobile wallet I'm going to demonstrate is called Blockchain Wallet. It's a highly rated mobile wallet that allows you to store either Ether or Bitcoin. So go ahead and pull out your smartphone and let's download Blockchain Wallet. Go ahead and open up the App Store on your smartphone and let's search for Blockchain Wallet. The app we're looking for should be the first one up top that has the logo with the colored squares. Let's click on the Blockchain Wallet app and get some more information. So the Blockchain Wallet app is an easy to use cryptocurrency wallet that's highly rated with 4.7 stars. You can stay up to date on the price of Bitcoin and Ether, view the details of your transactions and balances, seamlessly send funds anywhere in the world, create a payment request to easily receive funds, and back up your funds to ensure you always have access. So let's go ahead and download the blockchain wallet and see how to set it up and add cryptocurrency. So once the wallet finishes downloading, you should see that same colored square logo on your smartphone's home screen. Go ahead and open the blockchain wallet app now. After you download the app, the first thing you're going to need to do is create a wallet. Let's click the create a wallet button now. In order to create a new wallet, you're going to have to enter your email and create a new password. Once you're finished, click on create wallet. Your wallet should start downloading to your smartphone. And there we have it. Our wallet has been created. But before we can access our wallet, we're going to have to create a pin number. Go ahead and create one now. After you confirm your pin, you can also enable touch ID if you wish. I'm going to do this later. Next, we're going to need to verify our email address. Let's open up the email now and verify. So here's the verification email from Blockchain Wallet. Let's click the blue, yes, this is my email button. Your email will then be verified on the Blockchain website and you'll be asked to reopen the app. When you go back to the app, you'll have to enter the pin number that you just created. And there we have it. Our new wallet is downloading. So here's the Blockchain Wallet mobile app. It's a simple mobile wallet for Bitcoin or Ether and has all the basic functions a cryptocurrency wallet should have. You can send or receive Bitcoin or Ether and you can see the updated price charts for Ether or Bitcoin. So now that we've set up our wallet, let's go over the steps to add some cryptocurrency. I'm going to be adding cryptocurrency from my Coinbase wallet. So let's look at the icons at the bottom of the app and click on request. Here's where you can get your receiving address in order to transfer some cryptocurrency. Since I'm going to be transferring some Bitcoin, I'm going to copy this Bitcoin address here. Now that I've copied the receiving address to my clipboard, I'm going to head over to my Coinbase wallet and transfer some Bitcoin. So since this lecture is all about mobile wallets, let's pull up Coinbase on my smartphone. Right now I'm holding mostly cash on Coinbase because Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are currently taking a dive. But hopefully I still have enough in my wallet to do a small transfer as an example. So if I open up my Bitcoin wallet, it looks like I have $5.21 worth of Bitcoin to send. So in order to transfer Bitcoin, we're going to click on the paper airplane looking icon in the top right. Here's where you can enter the amount of Bitcoin you want to send. I barely have enough in my wallet to cover the network fee. So let's try to send a dollar. Once you hit send, you should be taken to the page where you can enter the receiving address we copied earlier. Looks like the network fee is much higher than the amount I'm actually sending. So once you enter your receiving address, go ahead and press send in the top right. And there we have it. Our Bitcoin has been transferred to our new mobile wallet. Let's head back over to the blockchain wallet app and make sure we received our Bitcoin. Each time you access your mobile wallet, you're going to have to enter your pin number in order to download the wallet. And voila, I now have one dollar and one cent worth of Bitcoin in my account. If you click on the transactions icon down at the bottom, you can see that I received 0.0011613 Bitcoin 33 seconds ago. The status is still pending because we're waiting on Bitcoin blockchain confirmations. So that's it for setting up and adding cryptocurrency to a mobile wallet. I'll see you in the next lecture.